Shalom, Shalom to the nation of Israel, Shalom. Before we get started, all praises, honor, glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rukhahapadash. Double honor to the elders, the apostles, the brothers, the men at Great Millstone that rule well, that taught me this truth. To the hopeful elect out there scattered abroad, unlike it to a speckled bird, tabernacle of King David. 144,000 mighty men. Peace, blessings, and salutations to the remnant men, women, children. Shalom, right? So this your brother Shapai, man. We out here again, you know, to hopefully um, bring this word out and reach the elect. You know what I mean? Because the doors, the, the doors of the Lord, his arm is, is drawn back. You know what I mean? Uh, and as we get closer to the end, it's going to get wilder. You know what I mean? Everything gonna be ha happening a lot much faster. And, but if you're not paying attention and you're not trying to seek the Lord, seek the truth of what's going on in the scriptures, you're not even gonna be paying attention. So to, to us, it's going, it's going fast. Like I even seen the um, brother Amawar Gabar. I think it's Amawar Gabar. Yeah, I think Amawa Gabar in the main camp up there in Brook and up there in New York, you know, they putting up them the 5G towers. You know, just popping up overnight. Them big look like a big antenna and stuff like that. And that's so when they go online with the um with that with that digital tag, that insertion, when they go online with that thing right there. They gonna have them, they, they gonna have all of them antennas in the neighborhood for the people. So they wars is wars is heating up, you know what I mean? Um so yeah, so yeah, so we're gonna get into it, man. We're gonna get into it. My people still not looking for the truth though, man. Like uh, so yesterday you had a chick. had a chick come out talking about John 316 and the Israelites is all devils and whoop de whoop whoop whoop. So Elder Malcolm did a lesson on her. So in the lesson he getting on, you know, knowing your place and you know women don't need to be teaching, da 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 da, -da like like that. So <laughs> you you without fail it's a woman in the com down in the comment section of that video talking shit talk about what do you believe in and in the name of Jesus and all I'm like my peoples man <laughs> my peoples man let's start out with Jeremiah 11 Let's go Jeremiah chapter 11, verse 7. For I earnestly protested unto your fathers in the day that I brought them out of the land of Egypt, even unto this day, rising early and protesting, saying, Obey my voice. Yet they obey not, nor incline their ear, but walk everyone in the imagination of their evil heart. Therefore, I will bring upon them all the words of this covenant, which I commanded them to do, but they did not. And the Lord said unto me, a conspiracy is found among the men of Judah and among the inhabitants of Jerusalem. They are turned back to inequities of their forefathers, which refused to hear my words, and they went after other gods and served them. Yeah. They love, they love Sir Dre Borgia, man. They love Sir Dre Borgia. They love Sir Dre Borgia being their God, being their, their savior, you know what I'm saying, the Trinity. They love Sir Dre Borgia being their God, and they love being a Gentile. Oh, we're the Gentiles, we're the Gentiles, we're the Gentiles. I don't know, fuck with some, some people. How, I, man, how the fuck it... <laughs> how are how are the people 
the 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 um the apostles, the Messiah, um um the the Lord, how, uh, our power. How is all of those those in, those people white, man? How do all of those people have leprosy, man? How how is that, man? Everything took place over there <laughs> in the hottest part of the earth. And, 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 and in the beginning, it was all white people. That make no sense, man. <laughs> Jeremiah 11 and 10. They are turned back to... Yeah, they are turned back to the inequities of their forefathers, which refused to hear my words. And they went at the other gods to serve them, the house of Israel and the house of Judah, have broken my covenant which I have made with their fathers. Therefore, thus saith the Lord, behold, I will bring evil upon them which they shall not be able to escape. And though they shall cry unto me, I will not hearken unto them. Jeremiah 11 and 11. Therefore, thus saith the Lord, behold, I will bring evil upon them, which they shall not be able to escape. And though they shall cry unto me, I will not hearken unto them. <laughs> then shall the cities of Judah and inhabitants of Jerusalem go and cry unto the gods unto whom they offer incense, but they shall not, but they shall not save them at all in the time of their trouble. So when the trouble start, man, calling on all these different gods out here, calling on Allah, talking about you spiritual, calling on white boy Jesus, that's going to get you hurt, man. That's going to get you hurt, man. The other thing that's going to get a lot of y'all hurt, man, y'all think that, y'all seem to think that what you say and how you feel now and the laws of this world is better than the laws of the ancient world. The law, the, 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 everybody talk about the Torah, the Torah, the laws, the laws, this and this and that. But nobody following them. Y'all not really following them, man. Y'all a lie, slander, a, a, a brother, men that's doing the work. How you out here slandering um, the apostles? when the apostles been hitting the highways for 40 plus, damn near 40 years now. 30 something years now. Teaching the doctrine. They ain't got no, they, 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 they ain't um, out here getting arrested. They ain't go to jail. They ain't begging for no money. You ain't got no women coming out. Oh, they, yeah. you ain't got none of that happening. But because you don't like what they saying out the scriptures, that's in the scriptures, you're slandering. You had this fat fucking barber, a nigga that got, he got a flat, high top flat fade, a high top um, flat top fade. He's a barber, so he stayed with his beard lined up, his his forehead lined up. He said he gonna call, call police on um, men of GMS. If you on, line, on my timeline, if I see you saying anything positive about GMS, I'm calling police on it. <laughs> Woo! Niggas, man. That's our people, though. That's our people. Our people are fucking demons, man. Isaiah chapter 1, verse 15. And when ye spread forth your hands, I will hide my eyes from you. Yea, when ye make many prayers, I will not hear. For your hands are full of blood. Yeah, man, full of blood of the prophets, man. And so I thought about it. I'm like, that brother talk about he gonna call police on, 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 the, on the men of GMS. Even if he just talking shit. Think about back in Roman times or biblical times. That be the that's the same spirit of the niggas that turn you over to the Romans. 
that gather all the gathered the men together to want to try to kill Paul. We not we gonna make a vow. What they say we gonna make a vow not to eat till we kill Paul. Women, they come back into the truth. The women come back in, come into the truth, and they want to come into the truth with the same mind frame. It says, "Put off the old man." So it's just for the men. So the women don't gotta change their frame of mind how they think, and they could just come into the truth and keep their worldly mind frame frame of mind. I don't have to listen to no man. You not my husband. Or if you tell me something I don't like, the first thing out they fucking mouth. What's the first thing out of chick mouth? Oh, you ain't used to dealing with no women. You ain't got no woman. Woo 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 woo. That's the first thing out they mouth, man. Without fail, you ain't get no pussy in the world. If you do got a woman, she's stupid. This the shit y'all say. Let's go Ezekiel chapter 8 verse. Let's start at 5 and read down. Ezekiel chapter 8 verse 5. Then said he unto me, son of man, lift up thine eyes now the way toward the north. So I lifted up my eyes the way toward the north, and behold, northward at the gate of the altar, this image of jealousy in the entry. He said, Furthermore unto me, son of man, seest thou what they do? Even the great abominations that the house of Israel committeth here, that I should go far off from my sanctuary, but turn yet, turn thee yet again, and thou shalt see greater abominations. So the Lord, man, the, the Israelites been doing wicked shit for a long time, man. The Lord came to um, Ezekiel in a dream, in a vision, and, 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 and he's um, showing the shit, the future shit that it, the shit Israel doing then and the future shit Israel going to do now. And he brought me to a door of the court, and when I looked, behold, the hole in the wall. Then said he unto me, Son of man, dig now in the wall. And when I had digged in the wall, behold, the door. And he said unto me, he said unto me, go in and behold the wicked abominations that they do here. So I went and saw, I went in and saw, and behold, every form of creeping thing and abominable beast and all the idols of the house of Israel portrayed upon the wall round about. Yeah, and that's still to this day, man. They love white boy Jesus, man. They love white boy Jesus, man. They love white boy Jesus, man. And they love the religion that the so-called white man gave them. Like you really think that you going that the same people that that killed off all the Native Americans, uh, millions, tens of millions when they got here, they came over there to bring you over here to work for free, to beat your heritage, your names, and all of that out of there. They gonna really give you the names of your far of the father and the son for you to call on for deliverance. You really believe that they would give you the key that you need to unlock the Bible. <laughs> That's the most important thing to keep from you, man. Who you are according to the scriptures. Because the most high, the only one that can fix this place, man. And that calls for us turning back to the Lord's statutes, commandments calling on the true names of the Father and the Son and waiting for him to hear our pleas and then come um, deal with this place, man. So you think they really would give you the name, the correct name? 
Like my people don't make no sense, man. My people don't make no sense. Let's go down, let's go 12, Ezekiel 8 and 12. Then said he unto me, son of man, hast thou seen what the ancients of the house of Israel do in the dark? Every man in the chamber of his imagination, uh, imagery, for they say the Lord seeth us not, that the Lord hath forsaken the earth. Yeah. Our people think the Lord hath forsaken the earth. That's why they want to try to take the shortcut route. I'm spiritual now. I'm spiritual now. I want to take the shortcut route, and I'm going to pray to the saints. I'm going to try to invoke spells and cast spells and do things myself. My people, man. He said unto me, turn thee yet again, and thou shalt see greater abominations that they do. Then he brought me to a door of the gate of the Lord's house, which was toward the north, and behold, there sat women weeping for ta Tammuz. <laughs> then said he unto me, Hast thou seen this, O son of man? Tur turn thee yet again, and thou shalt see greater abominations than these. And he brought me into an inner court of the Lord's house, and behold, the door of the temple of the Lord between the porch and the altar with about five and twenty men with their backs toward the temple of the Lord and their faces toward the east and they worship the sun toward the east. Yeah. You still got these Kemet niggas, man. Africa is the motherland. Everybody in the Bible was African. Even though <laughs> the scriptures say Africans are Hamites and the Israelites are Shemites. <laughs> Elder Malcolm left a comment yesterday. I did the the, the um, lesson talking on um, going into um, Dr. Umar with Abraham was African. He looked just like me. Moses was African. He looked just like me. The the twelve tribes of Jake, uh, uh, Jacob was African. He looked just, they looked just like me. So all everybody was African in the Bible. So Elder Malcolm said, man, this guy is way, way off. Everybody in the scriptures is hermetic and not shemetic. Yeah. Like, 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 since Kanye, since Kanye and Kyrie done came out and said what they said. And so really was the really the topic that nobody wants to say. What the topic would be categorized as is as a biblical topic, a biblical discussion. You know what I mean? Yeah, Kanye come out yesterday talking about how he's, his mama was sacrificed, Bill Cosby's um, son was sacrificed, Dr. Dre's son was sacrificed. Man, you could go, you could go on and on and on as far as Hollywood and um, Hollywood celebrities, movie stars, and famous people that mothers done, um, done died early and or, or, or grandmothers, grandfathers, brothers, and all of that shit. This is what they do, you know what I mean? But that to the side, the discussion that's, that's um, the, the topic of discussion would be categorized as a biblical discussion. That's what the topic would be categorized as. And so now, because they done made it mainstream now, this particular topic, or this these talking points or whatever, now you have all kinds of people trying to have a discussion on a topic that they don't know nothing about, man. I mean, the average people not reading their Bible. The average people not studying their Bible. The average people not putting hours of study time into um, reading the Bible and, 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 and teaching and doing that every week. The average person is not doing that. But you have the average person wanting to talk about the scriptures now. They know three scriptures. <laughs> five tops. They know three scriptures, five tops. And they want to talk about them five scriptures. Like that, that's going to tell them the whole, the whole story of the script, uh, the Bible. That's the 
that's going to tell them the whole thing. They know John 3.16. And some people know John 3.16 from watching uh, wrestling. <laughs> a, a Steve Co Stone Cold Steve Austin, John 3.16. So they program you to, oh, John 3.16, John 3.16. My people's is, people's is, is not smart at all, man. <laughs> Not smart at all. Not smart at all, man. Not smart at all. Jeremiah chapter 10, 14, verse 10. Thus saith the Lord unto this people, Jeremiah 14 and 10. Thus saith the Lord unto this people. Thus have they loved to wander. They have not refrained their feet. Therefore the Lord doth not accept them. He will now remember their inequity and visit their sins. Yeah. They have not refrained their feet. Yeah. <laughs> they can't stop doing the shit that they want to do, man. <coughs> Like, how hard is it for a woman to be a woman, man? According to the scriptures. I mean, it's not that hard. All it takes, really, is self-control. Control over your mouth, man. Control over the thing, like, like, okay, you an independent woman. You paying your own bills. You living your life. Okay. But when you come around or you get on a common board or you come around men that's trying to lead according to the scriptures and and they, and we're trying to change and do what's right according to the scriptures shouldn't you not according to christianity christianity got christian uh, female pastors all it is is a bunch of singing Holy Ghost and falling on the floor, speaking in tongues with ain't nothing but demons on them. Don't even understand that. So you bringing that, that same energy into the truth. Because that's what you used to. You used to speaking out. You used to talking, running your mouth. Fucking shame. Ain't gonna leave me a long ass. Oh, the first, the first thing. Oh, you, 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 you can't handle a strong, independent woman. No, bitch, I don't want to deal with you, man. You out of order right now. Like, did you even listen to the fucking lesson that the elder just put up? Did you even listen to the lesson? You couldn't have listened to the lesson. You come on here and talk about in the name of Jesus and all of that. I know you couldn't have listened to the lesson, man. Nobody, nobody want to hear that, man. Nobody want to hear that. And all y'all that's insulting, slandering, bucking up, all y'all doing is setting yourselves up to be judged, man. That's all y'all doing, man. We out here trying to work out our salvation through fear and trembling, but y'all already saved. The Lord didn't come back yet. Y'all already saved. So y'all ain't got to really change y'all behavior. Y'all could do whatever y'all want. Y'all could say whatever y'all want. And y'all don't have no fear of the Lord. Anymore. Jeremiah 14 and 12. When they fast, I will not hear their cry. And when they offer burnt offerings and oblations, I will not accept them. But I will consume them by the sword and by the famine and by the pestilence. Yeah, see? When the Lord get ready to get busy, he gonna get busy, man. <laughs> the Lord gonna get busy. And you know what we gonna be doing? We not gonna be praying for, we ain't gonna be praying for y'all. We gonna be praying for the Lord to, to heavy up and do what he doing. Speed it up, Lord. <laughs> this is what we gonna be saying 13 then said I then said I ah Lord power behold the prophets 
say unto them, Ye shall not see the sword, neither shall ye have famine, but I will give you assured peace in this place. This is the prosperity doctrine. This is the, Bishop May is the most powerful man on the earth. <laughs> he gonna raise up the nation of Israel. That's that talk right there, man. Now it's like, and, I, and, and I'm like, I see, I see parallels between him and uh, Minister Falcon. So I posted a thing on my um, on my thing where um, Rizza Allah said, Rizza Islam said that um, since Minister Farrakhan said something and they saw that Minister Farrakhan is behind um, Kyrie Irving and Kanye and he's supporting them and he spoke after he spoke all of the uh, Charles Barkley and everybody and LeBron James got in line because Minister Farrakhan got all the power. The same thing that um fucking Bishop Nate talking. Let them see we we out here in front of the Barclay Center so they can see that Bishop Nate and IUIC is behind Kyrie Irving. And he ain't got to fight this battle by himself. <laughs> then the Lord said unto me, the prophets prophesied lies in my name. Jeremiah 14 and 14. Then the Lord said unto me, the prophets prophesied lies in my name. I sent them not, neither have I commanded them, neither spoke unto them. They prophesied unto you a false vision of Islam, man. I keep saying this, man. How is Kyrie Irving and, 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 and Kanye right? They come, they talking about 12 tribes of Israel. They calling on a, the God of uh, attempting. He said, Yahweh, Yahweh, Kyrie Irving is off. His name don't mean uh, Yahweh, and it don't mean Yahweh. Um, Apostle, um, Elder Apostle Tahar broke it down. It pretty much means landlord. You know what I'm saying? Pretty much landlord, right? So, he's trying to find the names of the Lord. He not calling on Allah. Kanye not calling on Allah. They not saying that we're Muslims. So how is, how in the world is Minister Farrakhan talking about they right and this and this and that, but still talk, screaming Islam. Islam, the Quran, and I'm a Muslim. Telling you, man, these bases, they clicking up, man. Honey, I'm telling you, man. I'm telling you, man. man if Minister Farrakhan, he got that picture I put up of him with the, with the, um, the Masonic, um, you know, um, I think it's the um, apron. It's a Masonic apron on. So Minister Farrakhan got the Masonic apron on, and if you look at it, it looked the same like the um, what he wearing looked the same like the the um, purple garment that Bishop May have on, and the Rothschilds have on, and the wicked rulers of this world. The one that's really behind the scenes controlling shit. Is that a coincidence? Okay, maybe it is a coincidence. <laughs> maybe it is a coincidence. But when you had him coming out saying the same, he and Islam saying the same, the leader of the nation of Islam, and if you let them call it IUIC, Bishop Nate is the leader of um, the nation of Israel. He's the most powerful, the most powerful man on earth. That's what both of them saying. Meanwhile, they got large congregations that they leading astray, not telling you the truth out of the scriptures, man. Chasing after money, man. just all look like, to me, it just all look like an elaborate game, man. 15, Jeremiah 14 and 15. Therefore, thus saith the Lord concerning the prophets that prophesy in my name, and I sent them not, 
Yet they say sword and famine shall not be in this land. By sword and famine shall those prophets be consumed. Yeah, man. And the people to whom they prophesied shall be cast out in the streets of Jerusalem because of the famine and the sword, and they shall have none to bury them, their wives, nor their sons, nor their daughters, for I will pour their wickedness upon them. See? The Lord gonna do something, man. The Lord not just gonna do something to the to the false. If you follow the, these false apostles, these false men of the Lord, the Lord gonna do something to them and you too, man. That's why we warn y'all, man. That's why we come out here and warn y'all, man. That's just why we come out here and warn y'all, man. We do these lessons, man. Matter of fact, let's get that. Yeah, I, I, it's funny, man. Like, like I, I, I understand now when the brothers and the men say certain things, man. So, so I'm out here. I can I had a whole different other uh, topic I thought I was gonna go into, all you know, all week long. You know, have my lesson. You know, different topics wrote, written up. And so then this morning, like six in the morning. I start, I start a whole nother train of thought, writing up a whole, a whole bunch of other, other scriptures, man. It's my people stubborn, man. Second Corinthians five and eleven. My people stubborn, man. They do not want to hear, man. They think they say, they think the shit that they do. We done came like, like they did the a lesson earlier this week, man. Just because you know you're an Israelite, that don't mean you safe, man. You don't reach home base until you in the chariots, man. You still you still um, wandering around trying not to get caught, man. Freeze tag reference. You know freeze tag when you was younger? Freeze tag, you had to be on base. If you was, once you left off base and you start running around, you could get caught frozen. <laughs> on base, you safe. Home base is the chariots. So ain't nobody safe till you get on the chariots, man. So shouldn't you be thinking about your, the steps you taking while you still out here? Nah, I know I'm an Israelite. I'm safe, especially for the women. I know I'm an Israelite. I could do what I want to do and this and this and that because the Lord know this and the Lord know that. All right. <laughs> Second Corinthians chapter 2 verse 2 Corinthians 5 Salakia and 9 Wherefore we labor That whether present or absent We may be accepted of him Labor Nah we ain't gotta put no work in man We ain't gotta put no work in man I know I'm an Israelite You know what I mean I know I'm an Israelite. I'm of the tribe of, of, of um, Judah. That's all I need, man. I'm safe now. Because Bishop Nay said the whole nation of Israel going to be raised up. Forget what them, them uh, the bum camp GMS say. Even though they giving you the truth of the scriptures, forget what that bum camp GMS say. Because GMS, that's the that's the camp that do that's the camp that you gotta hide your nine year old daughters from. <laughs> you niggas gonna pay, man. I'm telling y'all, y'all gonna pay, man. All of that slander, man. All of that slander, man. The man been doing the work honestly, diligently for for decades, and you slander, y'all slander, y'all done slander so much. That y'all even got the women of y'all camps saying the shit now, repeating it now. Y'all gonna pay for that. Y'all gonna pay. Be forewarned. Y'all gonna pay for that. 
2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 10. <laughs> For we must all appear before the judgment seat of Amashiach, that everyone may receive the things done in his body according to that he have done, whether it be good or bad. Nah, it don't matter what we do, man. Because we already say, we know we're Israelite. That's all I need to do. So I don't have to strive. I don't have to do no kind of adjustments. I don't have to watch how I live my life. All I need to do is know that I'm an Israelite. That's all I need. I know I'm an Israelite. I'm saved. All right. 2 Corinthians 5 and 11. Knowing, therefore, the terror of the Lord, we persuade men. But we are made manifest unto power, and I trust also are made manifest in your consciousness. Yeah, man. Knowing the terror of the Lord, we persuade men, man. Knowing the terror of the Lord, we, must, we, we persuade men, man. That you need to watch what you do, man, because it's all going to come back to you, man. And so now, that that one um, chick that put that post up talk about hide your nine-year-old daughters from GMS and all that. You know how many curses went up on that chick this week, man? You know how many brothers you had throwing up curses on that chick this week, man? <laughs> and so when when judgment, when judgment hit her, or when something happened to her, do you think that what you think the prophets, what you think the men of the Lord? Well, how they gonna fit? Y'all bugging, man. Y'all bugging out, man. Y'all bugging out. I'ma call police on the men of GMS, man. <laughs> Micah chapter three, verse one. And I said here, I pray you, Micah 3 and 1. I said here, I pray you, O heads of Jacob, and ye princes of the house of Israel. Is it not for you to know judgment? With a question mark. Is it not for you to know judgment? No, yeah. They don't have to worry about judgment, man. They could say whatever they want to say. They could do whatever they want to do. They don't have to worry about nothing. They don't have to worry about judgment. Not the house of Jacob, the house of Judah, the house of Israel. Two, who hate the good and love the evil? Who pluck off their skin from off them, from off them, and their flesh from off their bones? Who also eat the flesh of my people? and flay their skin from off them, and they break their bones and chop them into pieces as for the pot and as flesh within the cauldron. Then shall they cry unto the Lord, but he will not hear them. Micah 3 and 4. Then shall they cry unto the Lord, but he will not hear them. He will even hide his face from them at that time. He will even hide his face from them at that time. As they have behaved them, as they have behaved themselves ill in their doing. Nah, we ain't gotta worry about our doings. We do not have to worry about our doings, man. So I said to one nigga, he said, he said, oh yeah, um, GMS teaches this and this and that and um, teach, teach you to rape, um, rape, rape, um, rape, um, great little girls. I said, well, brother, first off, that's slander. Even that nigga Bill, Bishop Melchizedek 
came in the comment board. I had to block them on my backup channel. Oh, they just in the spirit of the truth. But I said to the nigga, I said, look, first off, you slandering. I said to the nigga, I said, first off, you're slandering the men of the Lord, doing the Lord's work, right? Second off, if if this is what they teaching, and this is what they've been doing, show me some arrest records. Show me some proof that they've been doing that. Post some proof that they've been doing it. Oh, watch the video. A video of what? Of him telling you what was going on in biblical times? I've seen many a time, and I can speak for me personally. I haven't been in the truth 40 years, 20 years, 10 years, even five years. I've never heard the apostle teach that. Yo, this is what we're doing. This is what we could do right now. Woo -dee -woo 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 -woo. I never heard that. I've all, I always heard him say, you know, if you go out and do that shit, that's on your dumb ass and they should lock your dumb ass up. He has said that several times. I've heard it out of his mouth several times, man. Elder Yashawamba, I done heard this out of all types of brothers' minds. We are not telling you to do that. We are just simply telling you what was going on in those times. So I told the nigga, post, it, post some articles, post some police reports, some blotter reports of brothers getting arrested. Meanwhile, the nigga brother Polite, he actually did get arrested. The dude that did the, the, the viral video with brother Polite, he actually did get arrested for touching his girlfriend's underage daughter. <laughs> My people, man. My people. Micah chapter 3 verse 4. Then shall they cry unto the Lord, but he will not hear them. He will even hide his face from them at that time, as they have behaved themselves ill in their doings. Thus saith the Lord concerning the prophets that make my people err. Yeah, concerning the prophets who make my people err. By putting negative thoughts in their head, and sending them out there in the world to, to regurgitate the negative thoughts, the wicked shit that they put into their head, man. So, 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 fruit of your, the fruit of your, some of the fruit of the tree, of, of your tree is that you teach, you taught all your congregation, all of the people that follow you, that GMS um, acts, do, do those types of acts. So now you got your people out there on social media, on the comment boards, making videos, doing all of this shit, saying that GMS do this type of shit. You don't think that you want to pay for that? You out of all the women that think that you could talk to any man, any kind of way, and that he's supposed to accept it because you a woman. And soon as you give them the same energy back, that fuck that loud mouth, aggressive, I'm a I'm an independent, strong woman. Shit, I'm a strong, independent man. If you say something out of pocket to me and I come back at you, what you expect me to do? You expect me to act like a woman and let you talk to me a certain kind of way, but I don't supposed to say nothing back? And then soon as you say something to a strong, independent woman, what's the first thing out of her mouth? Oh, you gonna talk to a woman like that? <laughs> Micah chapter 3 verse 4. Then shall they cry unto the Lord, but he will not hear them. He will even hide his face from them at that time, as they have behaved themselves ill in their doings. Thus saith the Lord concerning the prophets that make my people err that bite their teeth, bite with their teeth and cry, peace, 
and he that putteth not into their mouths, they even prepare war against him. Yeah. Because the Lord sent the men, the, the Lord sent the prophets, man. The Lord sent them, the Lord sent his men out here to warn you. Cry aloud, spare not, lift up thy voice like a trumpet. Matter of fact, let's get that. Let's get it so I can read the whole thing. He sent us out here on the highways and the byways, and he gave us a charge. Cry aloud, spare not, lift up thy voice like a trumpet, and show my people their transgressions and the house of Jacob their sins. Yeah. So, so, so he sent his men out here to, to, tell, to tell the people where they going off, but you proud, loud, independent, feminine, feminist women, Y'all want to be louder than us. <laughs> Let's get another one to back that up. Hosea, or is it Hebrews? Hebrews 1 and 1. Hebrews chapter 1, verse 1. Power, who at sundry times and in diverse manners spake in times past unto the fathers by the prophets. Yeah. This is who he sent, man. And prophet just means say before, man. Tell you the things that you tell him according to the scriptures. You know what I'm saying? According to the scriptures and according to possible visions or whatever that you might see. Say before it happened. That's all it is, man. Yahweh Shai is the spirit of prophecy, man. You come out in the spirit of Yahweh Shai, man, and you telling your people what's going to happen according to the scriptures to this place, to the, to the two-thirds nation. You doing what? You prophesying. But the Lord can also take that spirit from you, so you better not get too beside yourself, too puffed up with pride like most of the Israelites are. Especially the men. Prideful, effeminate, emotional niggas, man. <laughs> Let's go. Zechariah chapter 7, verse 11. <laughs> but they refused to hearken and pulled away the shoulder and stopped their ears that they should not hear. Yeah, you try to tell your people what's going on according to the scriptures, they like, man, get off me. I don't wanna hear no Bible talk. I don't wanna, I don't wanna hear what's going on in the scriptures. That's our people. But they refused to hearken, Zechariah 7 and 11, but they refused to hearken and pulled away the shoulder and stopped their ears that they should not hear. Yea, they made their hearts as an adamant stone least they should hear the law and the words which the Lord of hosts have sent in his spirit by the former prophets. Therefore came a great wrath from the Lord of hosts. Therefore it is come to pass that as he cried and they would not hear and we crying by the prophets. He just said that. He said crying loud in Isaiah um, 58 and 1. I said the, pro the prophets in sundry times to speak to your fathers. Therefore, it is come to pass that as he cried and they would not hear, so they cried and I would not hear. Zechariah 7 and 13. Therefore, it is come to pass that as he cried, and they would not hear, so they cried, and he would not hear, saith the Lord of hosts. Yeah. So, so he coming out here, and through the, through the prophets, through the men, the apostles, the teachers, the brothers, the Lord is crying to the nation of Israel. He's pleading with the nation of Israel. Man. Ezekiel chapter three, um, 3, verse 17, warn them from me. So we out here warning you from the Lord, and you're not listening. 
So once the warnings is over and the killing start, the Lord not going to hear you. Just saying. Just saying. You just saying, man. And the heads act like heads act like you enjoy. Heads act like um, you know, if it was up, if it was up to us, man, <laughs> we'd come out here and preach the prosperity doctrine too. But that's not, it's not up to us, man. You gotta tell the truth of what's going on in the scriptures, man. And what's going on in the scriptures is judgment about to come to this place, man. That's why you see all of the stuff going on that's going on, man. That's exactly why you see all that's going on there. Psalms, the book of Psalms, chapter 18, verse 40. Thou hast also given me the necks of my enemy that I might destroy them that hate me. So you gotta hate them in a GMS that, that, that slandered them the way you slandering them. You gotta, it gotta really be hate in your heart to say that type of stuff. Accuse men of doing something that you never heard of them doing. Nobody never been arrested for doing. You gotta really hate somebody to put that kind of charge on them, man. 41, Psalms 18 and 41. They cried, but there was none to save them, even unto the Lord, but he answered them not. Yeah. The Lord not gonna answer, man. According to your actions, according to what you what you've been doing here on this earth, what names you've been calling on, how you've been conducting yourself, how you've been treating his prophets. You're going to be judged according to that, man. It's no way around it, man. You're going to be judged according to that, man. Let's go Jeremiah chapter 6 and 16. Thus saith the Lord, stand ye in the ways and see and ask for the old path, not the new path, not feminism, not the ways of this world. In this world right here, the laws of this world say that a man could cut his rod off, put a wig on and a dress, and he a woman now. That's what the, the, what the laws of this world say right now, man. The laws of this world say that a teenage little boy, a little girl, could take puberty blockers to change their sex while they still in their teenage years, man. That's what the laws of this world say. The laws of this world since 1973 has been close to 64 million abortions in America alone. That's what the, law, the laws of this world say. That 60, 64 million aborted fetuses since 1973 is, is perfectly fine. Man. That's more people than some nations, some countries out here. Jeremiah 6 and 16. Thus saith the Lord, stand ye in the ways, and see and ask for the old paths where is the good way, and walk therein, and ye shall find rest for your souls. But they said, we will not walk therein. Also, I, I said, watchmen over you, saying, hearken to the sound of the trumpet. But they said, we will not hearken. Therefore, hear ye nations, and know, O congregation that is among them, hear, O earth, Behold, I will bring evil upon this people, even the fruit of their thoughts, because they have not hearkened unto my words, nor to my law, but rejected it. See? Clearly the Lord say even your thoughts, man. He going to bring your thoughts down on you. So you out here saying, oh, in my head, I say I feel 
that this this is how I feel about GMS because I don't like GMS. I don't like what they teach out the scriptures. I don't like the old ways. The Lord said, look for the old ways. They say, no, nah, we don't want to look for the old ways. We like the new ways better. The new ways to us make more sense, man. <laughs> Setting yourselves up to get hurt, man. Second Chronicles chapter 34, verse 24. Thus saith the Lord, behold, I will bring evil upon this place and upon the inhabitants thereof, even all the curses that are written in the book, which they have read before the king of Judah. Yeah, all the curses of the book, man. All the curses. Let's read some of the curses of the book. Let's get it. <laughs> Let's get it. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 15. Let's get it. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 15. But it shall come to pass, if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy power, to observe to do all his commandments and his statutes which I commanded thee this day that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. Yeah. So the Lord said you got to do everything in the scriptures that the law is done away with and all of that stuff. That's not the case, man. Deuteronomy means the second book of the law, man. Leviticus was the first book. So now he done gave you two books of the law in the scriptures, but the law done away with it. Even though it says this in Matthew, let's get it in Matthew. This is what Yahweh Shai came back and said. I think it's 17, Matthew 5 and 17. Matthew chapter 5, verse 17, red letter. Think not that I am come to destroy the law or the prophets. I am not come to destroy, but to fulfill. So they say the Old Testament don't count no more. How, how can you say the Old Testament don't count no more, but you have Yahweh Shai, who they ignorantly call Jesus right here, telling you that it does matter. Like I said, the old ways is not important to the people they not looking for the old ways. They like the laws of Babylon. They like the laws of America. <laughs> they like the Constitution better than they like the laws that the um that's what's going on in the scriptures. They like the power of feminism. They like the freedom of feminism. They like that independent woman spirit. They like that. Matthew chapter 5, verse 17. Think not that I am come to destroy the law or the prophets. I am not come to destroy, but to fulfill. For verily I say unto you, till heaven and earth pass, not to heaven and earth pass, one jot or one tittle shall in no wise pass from the law till all be fulfilled. So everything in the scriptures is not fulfilled, man. Everything in the scriptures is not fulfilled. So how the law has changed, man. Did you see did, did, did you see Revelation 1 and 7? Did you see the law coming? In the clouds, and every eye that pierced them shall see him. Have we seen that? <laughs> Everything hasn't happened in the scriptures yet. Have he gathered? Have he came back and gathered his his um elect from the four corners of the earth? But they tell you the law is done away with. They tell you the law is done away with. You don't have to. Let's go Jeremiah chapter nineteen and verse.
Let's start at one. Jeremiah 19 and 1. Thus saith the Lord, go and get a potter's earthen bottle and take of the ancient of the people and of the ancient of the priests and go forth unto the valley of the son of Hinnon, which is by the entry of the east gate and, pro and proclaim there the words that I shall tell thee. See? So the Lord sent us out here to talk to the nation of Israel, man. Whether you like it, respect it or not. And he and said, Hear ye the word of the Lord, O kings of Judah and inhabitants of Jerusalem. Thus saith the Lord of hosts, the power of Israel, behold, I will bring evil upon this place, the which whosoever heareth his ears shall tingle. See? The Lord going to do something, man. The Lord going to do something. He is watching everything that's going on, man. Knowing the terror of the Lord, we persuade men, man. He is watching everything, man. Ezekiel chapter 7, verse 1. Moreover, the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, Also, thou son of man, Thus saith the Lord power unto the land of Israel, and in the end is come up the four corners of the land. Now is the end come upon thee, and I will send my anger upon thee, and will judge thee according to thy ways, and will recompense upon thee all thine abominations, and my eye shall not spare thee. Neither will I have pity, but I will recompense thy ways upon thee, and thine abominations shall be in the midst of thee, and ye shall know that I am the Lord. Thus saith the Lord power, and evil and only evil be behold is come. See? Evil is coming, man. Evil is coming. And we are sounding the alarm, man. We are sounding the alarm. Evil is coming. Only two thirds of the Lord people gonna make it out of this place, man. Lord willing, I'm one of those, man. But two thirds is gonna be destroyed on this side, man. And one just came, okay, Amos. One just popped in my head just that quick. Amos chapter three, I think, and five. Amos chapter 3 verse 4 Will a lion roar in the forest when he hath no prey? Will a young lion cry out of his den if he have nothing taken? Can a bird fall in a snare upon the earth where no gin is for him? Shall one take up a snare from the earth and have taken nothing at all? Shall a trumpet be blown in the city and the people not be afraid? Amos 3 and 6. Shall a trumpet be blown in the city and the people not be afraid? Shall there be evil in a city and the Lord hath not done it? Yeah, man. <laughs> the Lord do all things, man. He create evil and he create good. Matter of fact, let's get there. Deuteronomy chapter 32 and 39. Let's get that. Deuteronomy 32 and 39. See now that I, even I, am he, and there is no power with me. I kill and I make alive, I wound and I heal. Neither is there any that can deliver out of my hand. See? For I lift up my hand to heaven and say I live forever. If I wet my glittering sword and my hand take hold on judgment, I will render vengeance to my enemies and will reward them that hate me. Yeah. 
Because if the Lord sent his men out here to tell you what's going on in the scriptures, to have you to hearken to it, and you hate us, you don't hate us, you hate the Lord. You hate the word of the Lord. So therefore, that makes you an enemy. Get another one. Let's get Isaiah. 45 and Isaiah 45 and 7. I form the light. I form the light. I create darkness. I make peace. I create evil. I, the Lord, do all these things. Yeah, the Lord does all these things, man. <laughs> the Lord does all these things, man. So when you, when you see the people dying, it's the Lord, man. The Lord. You offended the Lord some kind of way. You did something to be judged, man. Because we coming into a time of judgment, man. We coming into a time of judgment, man. Make no mistakes. We coming into a time of judgment, man. We coming into a time of judgment. And Israel needed. The whole world needed, but Israel needed too. Cause we supposed to be a light to the world. I seen out in, I think it was California out there, California. Chick, chick got a little baby in a stroller. And they just, they um, walking down the street, her and uh, the boyfriend walking down the street. Kid, um, dudes drive by. Ride out the window, driving by, do a drive-by and kill a baby. Just seen that yesterday. Just seen that yesterday, man. You can't take these these um strong will women, only fans women. What what's that whole phase woman? Drug dealing niggas, gang banging niggas, Molly Percocet niggas. You can't take these people to the kingdom, man. I want to pimp hoes, nigga. <laughs> you can't take these people into the kingdom. Man. What they going to be teaching the people in the kingdom? We supposed to be a nation of king and priest. What they going to be teaching the people in the kingdom, man? How to twerk? How to take bathroom pictures, make your butt look bigger? How to package up the work? My people, man. My people, man. My people. <sighs> Dry balls. Let's get let's get some of that. Dry balls. Trying to wake up, man. Gotta seek the old path, man. The old ways, man. Dry bones, man. Waking up, man. Ezekiel, chapter 37, verse 1. The hand of the Lord was upon me and carried me out in the spirit of the Lord and set me down in the midst of the valley, which was full of bones, and caused me to pass by them round about. And behold, there were they were very many in the open valley, and lo, they were very dry. And he said unto me, Son of man, can these bones live? And I answered, O Lord, power thou knowest. Again he said unto me, Prophesy upon these bones and say unto them. Oh, ye dry bones, hear the word of the Lord. That's what we doing, man. We trying to wake you up with the word of the Lord, man.
even this right here, heads can't even get this simple thing right here, man. In that um, movie that Kyrie Irving posted or whatever the case may be, I heard old boy talk. If you watch that movie and you trying to find the truth, it's going to confuse you, man. It's going to confuse you, man. It's going to confuse you, man. On one breath, he's saying um, Amalek run the world, so that would make them Edomites. But then he trying to say that uh, regular white people is uh, Jack. <laughs> so, so you got you got some Edomites that's um you you know just uh, um um Shemites, cause cause um, Edomites are Shemites too. So you got you from the line of Shem. So you would have you would you got some Edomites that's Shemite, and then you got some that's um Jeff Jeff Jeffites Jephetic. It confuse you, man. It confuse you. That's why I say that whole thing is, to me, it looked like a plan of, um, how they say, organized confusion. If you look at that whole situation, it's like, to me, it come across as organized confusion. Kyrie, I mean, Kanye come out first. He say what he say, but he not, he never, told you the true names or nothing. He gave you a little breadcrumbs, a couple of a couple of jewels, right? He gave you a couple of jewels. Then you had Kyrie come out. He gave you a couple of jewels, but then he it, it come behind him promoting something that's on. That's don't that's not the hundred percent truth in it. It's not a hundred percent truth in that movie. Then he talk about Yahweh. So he come out and he giving you some things that'll have you lost or whatever. Then, on top of that, now you throw the IUIC going up there to Barclays Center and you have Minister Farrakhan and all of that and you have everybody talking about it based off of not the truth. A portion of the truth is in it, but not the truth. And so now you look at it, it's like a gumbo pot. Of, of stuff that's not the truth. <laughs> it's not the hundred percent truth. It's a pot. It's a big pot of stew, but it's not a hundred percent truth in the pot. It's not no a hundred percent truth with with Farcon. It's not a hundred percent truth with IUIC. Ask him about the mark of the beast. Ask him about the mark of the beast. Now they might admit that it was it's Jacob's trouble now, but in the past he was saying it wasn't no Jacob's trouble. Ask him what's the name of the son and the father. Ask him do it better. Ask Minister Farcon what's what's God's name. They even might think they, I think they might even think, I know one brother, I blocked a brother. One, bro, one brother um, that followed Minister Farrakhan, I think they even said that they thought Elijah Muhammad was Yahweh Shai reincarnated. They said Jesus, they didn't say Yahweh Shai. So he definitely ain't got, he, he bugged out, man. You got the Quran, you read with the Quran and the Bible, you trying to say people are Israelites, we the people of the Bible, but we the people of the Bible and the people of the Bible is Muslim? <laughs> Telling you, a bunch of bullshit, man. To me, it looked like a whole bunch of bullshit, man. That's all I'm saying, it looked like a bunch of bullshit. And that's my personal opinion. It's not no doctrine. It's not, it might not be what the what the apostles say. Uh, I, I know, um, I think Apostle Kabar, Elder Apostle Kabar, feel the same way. He say he think it's a setup too. I think it's a setup. I think it's a setup too. Matter of fact, but Elder Apostle Kabar said it yesterday. He thinks his opinion, he thinks it's a setup. And I agree, I think it's a setup too. 
Kyrie Irving got mad pictures with him with the pentagrams on his hand and, and the one eye covered and throwing up this and the, the um, Egyptian um, um, Osiris um, thing on his sneakers and, and, and all seeing eye under his sneakers and all of that. I think it's a setup too. I think they all a bunch of maces playing out they little, they little, little thing right there in front of us. For what? To do what? To have you lost from finding the truth out, man. That ain't give you a little bit of truth. That ain't give you a little bit of truth, but it looked like a big show, man. A big show. We used to call it in the military, what we used to call it? A dog and pony show? That's what it looked like, a dog and pony show to me. Let's get back to it. Looked like a dog and pony show. Psalms chapter 20. Three and verse one. Look like a dog and pony show. Cause they scared. They scared of us finding out who we are. Cause if we find out who we are, start calling on a true name and everything, this the Lord gonna come back and, and, and chat and do what he do. <laughs> but judgment start with Israel. So to think that just cause I know I'm a, a Israelite, when the Lord come back, the Lord going to stop at our house first, for, um, 1 Peter 4 and 17. Judgment starts with us, man. Ezekiel the 22nd chapter, I will leave you there and melt you. The whole house of Israel has become drugs. So it's going to start with us. But they know that they, time, they have but a short time, Revelation 12 and 12. So they're going to do what they do, man. But when we wake up, they know they finished, man. Psalm chapter 23, verse 3. He restoreth my soul. He leadeth me in the paths of the righteousness for his name's sake. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death. This is the, 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 the shadow of death, the valley of the shadow of death right here, man. We were just reading about the, the dry bones in Ezekiel 37 chapter, right? Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for thou art with me. My rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Thou preparest a table before me in the presence of my enemy. Thou anointest my head with oil, my cup runneth over. Yeah, they see us, they see the Lord fixing us up right in front of them. Man. That's the fear, man. That's why instead of coming out and saying, nah, clearly with the scriptures, we can show that y'all not the people, the, the Lord's people, whoop de -woo 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 -woo. they can't do that. I done did two different lessons this week with six or seven different books where they admit that they not the people. They're books. Jewish Almanac, different um, versions of the Jewish Encyclopedia, even um. Uh, it was even an American encyclopedia, I think it was 1904 or 1914. Where were they converted? What year they converted? <laughs> My the jury is Edom. It's not it's not correct to call a, a, a contemporary um Jew a, a, a ancient Israelite. They know. They know. That's why they say what they say. Oh, you are anti. You are an oh, you anti, you anti sin. Even that's wrong. It's nobody in the scripture named Sim. No one didn't have a son named Sim. He had a son named Shem. S H M. S S S Lucky. S H E M. But they won't even give you that straight. They even changed that up. And so, so the the, uh, the how the apostle said it. They not really lying to you. They being deceptive. They being deceptive. <laughs> Anti-Sim is something they made up. Even with that, they say Kanye and Kyrie both say I can't be anti-Sim if I know who I am. They didn't even come out and straight say, well, 
I can't be anti-Semitic um, because I'm Shemitic. They, they didn't even say that. <laughs> they didn't even say that. Like it's no, it's nobody in the scriptures named Shem. You know, we're from, from the line of Shem. And so I can't be um, Shemitic because I am Shemitic. They ain't even say that. Like I said, they giving you a P. Like I said, man, to me, it looked like a big game, man. It looked like a big game. It looked like a big game. They playing, they all actors in the movie, man. They all actors in the movie. I, I feel the drizzles. But we gonna keep going. Yeah, if it, if it get get that get like that, I shut it down, shut it down, and go over there to my rain spot, <laughs> do a part two in the rain in the dugout over there. Jeremiah chapter seventeen verse four, and thou even thyself shall discontinue from thy heritage that I gave thee, and I will cause thee to serve thine enemies in the land which thou knowest not. For ye have kindled a fire in my anger, which shall burn forever. Yeah. So the, the true Israelites are not going to know who they are, man. Discontinue from their heritage, man. Them people converted in 1860, man. They, they know who they, 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 they've been following, they've been following being us. For what? Over 200 years now. Close to 200 years. How are they the, the, the people that lost their heritage, man? Hitler, Hitler didn't beat that out of them. We just saying, man. So according to the scriptures and according to everything, they're not us, man. They're not the people of the Bible, man. They're not the people of the Bible. What was that? Deuteronomy. And part of remembering yourselves, man, is remembering how we used to do things in, in ancient times, man. That's part of remembering who we are, man, to remember the ancient ways of doing things, man. And yeah, and, uh, uh, bringing back up the situation with what, what age a, a young boy is considered an adult, at what age a young woman, a young girl is considered a, a, an adult. You know what I'm saying? Not that you gotta practice those things now. Like I wouldn't send, you wouldn't send a 14 year old out the war, or you wouldn't let a 14 year old lead a village, little boy lead a village now, or be king. But it's times where it was a 12 year old was um, the king of um, Judah, of uh, Israel. So yeah, maybe not in these times you would do that, but just remembering the ancient ways of what they are is wrong. Saying that, yo, this is how we used to do it. No, we can't do that now because we not under the second covenant yet. We still in captivity. Just saying, man. Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 64. And the Lord shall scatter thee among all people from one end of the earth, even unto the other. And there thou shalt serve other gods, which neither thou nor thy fathers have known, even wood and stone. And among these nations shalt thy find no ease, neither shall the sole of thy foot have rest, but the Lord shall give thee there a trembling heart, and failing of eyes, and sorrow of mind. And thy life shall hang in doubt before thee, 
and thou shalt fear day and night and shall have none assurance of thy life. So how is that them? You can't even say nothing about them. They don't have the fear of riding down the street or whatever in the wrong neighborhood, get pulled over by cops and wind up dead. You got no record. <laughs> you got no record. You got your license. All your, your paperwork for your car is intact. And you get pulled over and you got, and look, and you got the, um, <laughs> and you got, you got your, you got a gun on you, but you got a gun license, a gun permit to carry. You get pulled over and you dead. They don't have to worry about that. I see they dug up a thing from 2019 where, um, you know, a, a rabbi was was beat up or killed, maybe killed by a, a black, a BHI. We're not black, you know what I'm saying? So they gonna take this one thing and they gonna try to use that. The, the, that's why I said it looked like a plan, man. It looked like a plan to see how the men, the true men of the Lord is bringing out the truth of the scriptures or whatever, and they saw it was getting traction. So instead, they gonna bring out their, they gonna bring out their version of the truth, distort it, and then use, attack that, attack that, but then use, use that to turn around and focus and lump everybody in together. Cause how you get from, the black, the, the black Hebrew Israelites to Kanye, Kyrie, and Farrakhan. That's where, where we at now, if y'all paying attention. How Minister Farrakhan get in there all of a sudden? Minister Farrakhan in there all of a sudden and, and everything and, and, and the people of the Bible Yahweh, the people of the Bible, the 12 tribes of Judah, and Farrakhan. How's that? <laughs> Look like a plan to me, man. Look like a plan to me. Oh, wicked ass plan. That's what it looked like to me. Proverbs 21 and 16. Looked like an evil ass plan. And it looked like them people that got their mansions and they Lamborghinis and they, they, they luxury cars and all of this stuff like that look like they, um, you know what I'm saying? They, they look like they, um, they've been activated. That's, that's it. They look like they've been activated. Proverbs chapter 21, verse 16. The man that wandereth out of the way of understanding shall remain in the congregation of the dead. That go back to the dry bone. That go back to the dry bones, the congregation of the dead, man. And our people are dead, man. Don't remember the old ways. Because the ways of old is not to their liking. They like the modern ways. They like the modern ways. The modern ways fit their lifestyle better, man. Let's go Hosea chapter 4 verse 6. My people are destroyed for a lack of knowledge because thou hast rejected knowledge, the knowledge of the scriptures. Man. The knowledge that will wake you up out of the, get you out of that dry bone state, man. My people are destroyed for a lack of knowledge because thou hast rejected knowledge, I will also reject thee that thou shalt be no priest to me, seeing thou hast forgotten the law of thy power, I will also forget thy children. As they were increased, 
So they sinned against me, therefore I will change their glory to shame. See? So they still got the glory on them over there. You can't mention them anti this, anti that. Meanwhile, 